What's up guys? You know who it is and in this video we're talking about passwords. Now we've all come across those websites where they say we can let you know if your password is in any data breaches just submit your password. The question that we're asking is can we pull out of their databases what they know about our passwords without actually having to submit our passwords to them? And if you're wondering about this the answer is yes and I'm going to show you how to do it hacker style. All right, guys, so we want to know if our password is compromised without having to share our password. And the site we're interested in is in Have I Been Pond? Now, this is a great website from Troy Hunt. He has over 55 million different passwords that have been compromised and leaked out on the internet. But I don't want to put my password in here and I'm wondering if there's another way to find out what's in his database without having to give up my credentials. And I'm going to show you how to do that so let's jump into it the first step is going to be to hash your password and once it's hashed it'll look something like this up here what we want to do is we want to call out to have i been pawned with part of my hash i don't want to submit my whole hash because if i submit my whole hash that's pretty much saying i have your password now and all i have to do is crack it so what i'm going to do is just send a little bit of the password hash over to him and ask, does this show up in your database? If so, please give me all the hashes that resemble this. So I'm going to just take the first five hexadecimal characters and send it off to him. And I'm gonna do that by using curl. So again, I'm not sending him my whole password. I'm just sending him the first few bits of it and he's gonna return back everything he has. So here are all the password hashes that start with the first five characters that I sent over to his database. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna come over here into my text editor and paste it. And what we're gonna do is try to find my hash because if my hash shows up in his database, this is equivalent to my password. That means my password is compromised. So we're gonna take off the first five characters because he sent everything back, and here you go. So this right here is my password found compromised in some type of data breach and was leaked out on the internet over 116 thousand times so it's a good indication that I might want to change my password or I'm using a weak password and this was all done without actually having to send over what my real password was so let's go ahead and jump into how this works now the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously hash your password so come over here into your text editor and we're going to hash our password using Python. So now that we created how we're going to hash our password, let's go ahead and put our password in here. And let's go ahead and save this. 
and run it. And here you can see my hash password is this down here. So again, if I come to my command prompt, you can see the hex equivalent of my password is this. So if we go ahead and take the first five characters, which B2E98, we send it over to Have I Been Pond. It gives us everything that starts with the same characters. We'll copy that. Come over here to our text editor, paste them. Do a search for our hash, minus the first five characters. And as you can see, our password has been compromised 22,000 times, which is pretty cool to know. Now, if you're wondering how can we get this automated, we can come over here to Mike Pond's GitHub and he has an automated script written in almost every language that you could possibly need and what he does is he automates exactly what we just did so if we take that script and we go ahead and run it and we give it our password here's our hash password and just like how we found it, it's been compromised 22,000 times. So in his commands are an automated script where again, he hashes the password for us, goes out to have I been pawned, and if it finds the hash, he sends it back to us saying it's been found with however many occurrences or it was not found. This is an awesome way to find out if your password has been compromised. If it has been, you might want to think about changing it as soon as possible. And if it's not compromised, it doesn't mean that it won't be in the future. But this is just a pretty cool way to find out without actually having to submit your password to see if it's been leaked on the internet. Go ahead, check these scripts out, have fun with them, check out different passwords, check out different hashes. Thanks for watching this. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because I'll be coming out with new tutorials and new videos, so stay tuned.